We welcome you to the swearing in of the, make sure I have all the titles correct because he has such a long title, the swearing in of Peter A. Shapiro as chair, Prince George's County Planning Board, Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Mr. Shapiro be, will be sworn in by the Clerk of the Court, the Honorable Mahasan El, Mah, mm, the Honorable Mahasan El Amin. Please come forward. <laughs> so, following the um, actual swearing in, we will have remarks by our very own County Executive Angela D. Also Brooks. <laughs> Solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will support the charter and laws of Prince George's County. Support the charter and laws of Prince George's County. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of. Chair for the Prince George's County Planning Board. Chair for the Prince George's County Planning Board. Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Charter and laws of Prince George's County. And the Charter and laws of Prince George's County. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, this is a great day in Prince George's County, and I'm so delighted uh, to be here. First of all, I like all these colors on this stage. I just could not resist <laughs> saying that. I, I like somehow all of us coordinated. Um, but I am delighted to be here speaking on behalf of Peter Shapiro, uh, who you just witnessed become the next chair of the Prince George's County Planning Board of Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. And as always, I want to thank our dedicated county clerk, um, Mahasan El Amin, for administering his oath. Uh, I'd also like to thank Councilwoman Jolene Ivey uh, for being present this morning and for her support. Uh, am I missing? And as well as Councilmember Todd Turner for his support as well. So I want to thank them both for being here uh, and for their leadership and support, as well as, well as Calvin Brown and and, uh, and also want to thank Nicole Parker Green as well for being here uh, this morning. Um, I cannot imagine a more qualified person uh, to take over this agency uh, and to carry on Betty Hewlett's long record of excellence at Maryland National Capital Park and Planning. Mr. Shapiro has served Prince George's County for the last nine years as the executive director of the Prince George's County Revenue Authority. While there, he increased minority business participation well beyond target goals and he brought his creativity to bear at the Suitland Federal Center, helping map out one of our most ambitious county revitalization projects that truly showcases the power 
of mixed use development. And that's left now to, uh, to execute his plan. Over the next two years, the Suitland Federal Center is going to transform. And we should all give Peter Shapiro credit for his tremendous role in this transformation. His creativity, leadership, and willingness to collaborate have made this project a huge success before the work even began. Along with his urban planning expertise, Mr. Shapiro served on our county council as chairman for two terms. He oversaw land use and zoning for the county, helping to pass the smart growth zoning, uh, helping to pass the, the smart growth focused 2002 Prince George's County General Plan. While there, he also oversaw a revitalization effort that continues to serve as an outstanding example of placemaking. As you may know, the Gateway Arts District began as a comprehensive project bringing public entities, private firms, and nonprofits together to revitalize Brentwood. That project has now become one of the most successful examples of placemaking in our county. Mr. Shapiro created the vision for this project and oversaw it. So far, the Gateway Arts District has resulted in over $500 million in new, high-quality investments, helping to grow our local economy and provide more services to residents. This includes new restaurants, coffee shops, theaters, and public art installations along Route 1. And it includes Prince George's County's very first food hall. But even beyond his comprehensive record of public service, Mr. Shapiro has committed himself to Prince George's through community involvement. He served on a number of nonprofit boards and the boards of community development organizations. In all that Mr. Shapiro has done for Prince George's County, he has demonstrated his ability to lead, to execute, and to create a vision for our county that lifts up all of our residents. Our community is not the only one to notice Mr. Shapiro's excellent work. He created and presented the Community Leadership Institute for the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments, turning complex topics like land use and air quality into accessible material for a broader audience. All of this experience adds up to what our community now needs to head the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Prince George's County is focused on transit-oriented mixed-use development that serves a range of household incomes. We want walkable, amenity-rich neighborhoods, and we want to invest in neighborhoods that have not received the care that they have deserved for so long. Put another way, we want to replicate the planning successes of Peter Shapiro on a countywide scale. And let me just say this, on a more personal note, I've known Peter for years. I know his love for Prince George's County and for this community. I know that he cares deeply about Prince George's, that he's shown in everything that he has done for this community, and I know that he will show it in everything that he does for Prince George's in this new role he's preparing to take on. I'm honored to be here today uh, for Peter swearing in, and with his help, we can continue our track record of smart growth with a visionary, well-regarded planning leader. We're so excited to have Peter at the helm of our planning board. So let me say again to you, congratulations, Chair Shapiro, as we celebrate this momentous occasion. I've said it before and it still rings true today, but I know that truly the best is yet to come for Prince George's. And I know that in this role, Mr. Shapiro will help us achieve an even brighter future for all Prince George's. Thank you so much. And if you can, if you would come on up, Peter, uh, and please come up also, bring your wife, please come on up. Let's, I'd like to present to you a certificate of appointment uh, in recognition of your experience, leadership, professionalism, and integrity. Be it hereby known to the citizens and residents of Prince George's County that you have been appointed as chair of the Prince George's County Planning Board, Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, presented on this first day of April, 2022. Congratulations to you. Would you like to say anything, Pete? Uh, quick, quick few words. Okay. <laughs> This shouldn't take more than about 45 minutes. I was about to say, your former council member. Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
Um, very briefly, first I want to thank County Executive Officer Brooks for your support uh, for this process, your nomination. I could not be more honored uh, to have this opportunity. Um, and I want to thank the council members as well for their support. Um, this, this is a, uh, it's just an incredible opportunity for me. And part of, the, part of the reason why I'm so excited about it is that I am building off of the vision and working with a leadership team uh, where, we, where we share the same vision for this county. Um, so I, I couldn't be more excited to take this on. Uh, I want to thank my family, my wife, and my mother who are here, and friends from all walks of life that are here uh, to support me in this endeavor. Um, I also want to recognize uh, members of the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning staff that are here who have already been incredibly supportive at the very front end of this transition. I know that I have a big task ahead of me. Um, and the one thing I want to end with is uh, there's two people here who I've worked with quite closely, uh, one for nine years and one for a more recent amount of time, uh, Calvin Brown, who's the chair of the Revenue Authority Board, and Nicole Parker, who's the vice chair of the Revenue Authority Board. And I worked uh, with the Revenue Authority for the past nine years. And I, um, this is something the county executive also brings when I shared, because she was the previous uh, executive director. And so we both know what a wonderful organization that is. I'm going to miss it. Um, and I know the organization is in good hands. And I could not be more excited about the, the future. So thank you all. Thank you, County Executive Officer Brooks. Thank you, Council Members. And I look forward to working with you in this new role. And also, just uh, finally, I also want to recognize former County Executive Rashern Baker. And thank him for being here. Come on, stand up, Rashern. And, and, and also to thank him for appointing Peter. Peter has done an outstanding job, and so we always want to welcome him back into this space and to thank you so much also for your leadership. You. Let, let, me, let me just say, <laughs> uh, uh, oops. <laughs> thank you, Gabby. Yeah. This actually ends the formal ceremony, um, but now could you take your time? <laughs> One, one Chair Hawkins has arrived, and uh, so we want to thank him for his leadership as well. Uh, and in fact, you know what, I think it's appropriate. Can the first picture be, I would like for Councilmember Todd Turner, Chair Calvin Hawkins, and Councilwoman Jolene Ivey. Can we take that first picture with, uh, with our new chair? Their support made this possible. So thank you all.